Can you walk me through focus thought for 17 seconds and give an example of what that would be step by step? Yeah, what subject? The subject of manifesting a lot of money. <laughs> All right, now there's some things to take into consideration because there are a lot of clogged pipes on that subject. So there already is quite a bit of momentum on that subject. So if we approach it in any normal way, we're just going to add to the clogged pipe. You see what we're getting at? So here's a law based fact that if you can hear it, it will serve you in every conversation that you have with yourself in your deliberate creation forevermore. The more general you are, when you approach a topic where you know you have clogged pipes, the better off you'll be. Now think about what that means. If you don't have any clogged pipes, if you're thinking about something wanted, then the more specific you are, the faster the momentum and the better it is because you're carving out a path of least resistance to something. But when you're thinking about something unwanted and adding to what you do not want, then the less specific you are, the better off you'll be. Does that make sense to you? What's the goal here? To find the first pure thought about abundance. A pure thought about abundance. So just reach for a pure thought about abundance, which means try not to have it have any relationship to you. If you're not feeling abundant, then be good to leave you out of the equation for just a little bit. So let's just talk purely about the idea of abundance. Abundance, the idea of abundance makes me feel free. All right. I would like the idea of abundance to make me feel free. Now you don't feel free with the idea of abundance yet. So you just said something you don't mean. And this is something, now friends, we said we're going to really be fine tuning here. So hear this statement. When you say something you don't mean, law of attraction, here's what you do mean. Ooh. <laughs> so you poked at it with a stick and didn't get the results that you wanted. See what we're getting at? So let's, rather than talking about abundance and money, let's talk about abundance. Abundance of clarity, abundance of sunshine, abundance of ocean. Are those easier for you to feel abundance about? Definitely. All right. So with the idea of fewer clogged pipes and just more free flowing thought, give us some statements about that kind of abundance. The sun beating down on me makes me feel energetic, inspired. Lots of sun abundance, isn't there? Mm. I never wake up and wonder, well, wait. <laughs> Esther couldn't find the ocean for three days last week. So that statement was not exactly accurate. Whether I can see the sun or not, I know it's out there. Whether I can see it clearly or not, I know it's there. That statement feels pretty good, doesn't it? I know it's there. I really never worry about the sun not being there. There are aspects of well-being and abundance that I just take for granted. My belief is never challenged about it. I just know that there is abundance around me. Yeah. So what other kind of abundance comes easily to you? Abundance, abundance of music comes very easy. Talk to us about that a little bit, generally. I hear music throughout my day. Huh. Stay in that feeling for a little bit and become more specific if you want to. Mm. Since there's no resistance on that topic, then as you become more specific, you carve out a greater path of less resistance. So carve that out a little bit. Songs just come to me and it's, I don't know where they come from, but they come and it sounds good and... and to, I'm open to receiving these musical messages. I don't I have no idea where they come from, but so I accept that from the unseen abundance flows to me in this form. And so it is logical to me that from the unseen that all nature of abundance will flow to me. And that in the same way that I can be in a vibrational place of just allowing that to happen, I can be in a vibrational place of allowing more abundance on more subjects to happen. Feel how free flowing that is? Now there was no resistance. Those statements were easy to make and felt good as you make them. Now that may be all the work that you need to do for one conversation that you're having with yourself. And you can tell that you've done good work because you have contemplated a subject and you felt good while you contemplated it. So we're going to make a statement to you, a really to all of you. This is another refined point, very fine tuning, deliberate creators that we are visiting with here today. So how do you feel about the concept of in order to get the results that you want, if you've got some clogged pipes, just never mind them, lay some new pipes. Doesn't that make perfect sense to you? 
Isn't that an easy to understand concept? So now we just want to insert this very important understanding. When you're standing in the middle of clogged pipes and you know, you are, cause you feel uncomfortable. That's not the time to try to lay new pipes because all you do is increase the clogging of the pipes that already exist. So here's a statement that we want you to remember. We want you to somehow, some way, and we'll talk more about that as we're moving forward. Somehow, some way, get on this high flying disc. Usually happens first thing in the morning before things have come to thwart it. Sometimes you don't make it to breakfast, but first thing in the morning is when you're most likely to feel it. And the more you reach for it, the more you care about it, the more you milk it when you are there, the more you will own it, the easier it will be, the more the momentum will be there, the more often you'll be there, the easier it'll be to be there. So let's say you're there and it doesn't matter if you even know how you got there. Esther was talking to a friend on the telephone the other day and they got on the subject and they were laughing so hard. They were laughing so hard that neither one of them could understand what the other one was saying. <laughs> what I can't understand you what I can't understand you and so Esther has decided that she never needs to meditate again she'll just remember that conversation and she goes right to that high-flying disc in other words when you get hold of something that feels like that just milk it and 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 use it for your reason for feeling the way that you're feeling so here's the statement we've been teasing you about it it's time to deliver it to you do all of your laying of new pipes from your high-flying disc all of them from your high-flying disc so the other day after laughing and laughing and laughing and laughing and laughing with this friend Esther replayed that conversation over and 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 over in her mind all day long we'll tell you what they were laughing about we warn you you kind of had to be there <laughs> so they're talking about the same thing that you're asking about they're reaching for high-flying thoughts and Esther is saying I've discovered that the more general I am the easier it is to stay there and so she was saying I love words like clarity and I love the feeling of invincibility and and I've got this pin that I pretend is my magic wand and I'm just waving it around and it feels like the entire universe is responding to what I'm asking for and all I want to do is think about these things and talk about these things Esther said I'm afraid I'm becoming like a vibrational snob <laughs> because I'm not willing to go to other less good feeling places and her friend said yeah it's like others can't quite understand us she said it's like being in that room at the insane asylum <laughs> <laughs> Esther worked at the state hospital in Blackfoot Idaho she knows that room She's seen that room so Esther began laughing and then one or the other of them is talking about people walking by and and hearing them laughing in there and saying just leave them alone <laughs> and don't get too close to the door and then Esther said yeah and they'll, they'll slip food under the door to us and her friend said yeah and we'll think we manifested it <laughs> so on and on and on and on you've never heard two people snort more so finding something like that finding something like that finding something like that and milking it just for the fun of it milking it just for the clarity of it causes you to practice that high-flying vibration and gain momentum of that high-flying vibration and make it more likely that that is the high-flying vibration that you own make it easier to be there 